In this video, we're going to go over um, conditionals. These are if statements. Um, these basically say only execute this code if something is true. So I'm going to show you an example. This is going to be kind of a rushed video, so I kind of hope you pick it up. Um, we're going to say clear home, and then we're going to say um, this. Please type in, or let's write your age. And then it's going to allow, then it's going to say input A. So it's going to allow you to type something in for A. Then we're going to run an if statement. And we're going to say if A is greater than 5. And then we're going to skip a line and write the word then. And then N. Now what it's going to do, the code in between then and end is only going to execute if this statement's true. So if a is greater than 5, then it's going to execute this code. And we're going to say disk you are old enough. And but then we're going to say else disk you are too young. And so what it's going to, and what else will do, else says if the condition's not true, um then display something else. So this says if A is greater than 5, then display you are old enough. If it's not, display you are too young. So, now when you, let's load this file. Now as you can see it's going to allow it's going to say your age, I want to type in three and so I'm going to say let's wait for it to load. It's gonna say you you are too young, but you are too young was too long to fit in the screen. We can go ahead and edit that real quick. Just make it say old enough, and this one's just going to say too young. There, now let's quit. Now, when we run this program. It's going to say your age. I say three. It's going to say too young. I say run it again. For my age, I say four. It's going to say too young. I run it again, and for age, I say 23, and it's going to say it's going to say old enough when I write 23. If I run it again and I say five. It's going to say too young because it will only execute the, this code if this statement's true. And anything after else, it will execute if the statement's false. You don't need an else. You can just have an if statement with an if, then, and an n. You don't have to have an else. Um, if you, on your calculator, you could click shift or second test or second, whoops. I messed that up, but if you click second and test, um, I'll expand that here. Here's all your comparison operators. Instead of having to check if A is greater than 5, I can check if it's equal to 5. I can check if it's not equal to 5. If it's less than 5, gr less than or equal to 5, greater than 5, greater than or equal to 5. And you also got and, so you can check if two things are true. So I could check, um, like, if A is greater than 5 and B is less than 4, then you got a OR, which is A is greater than 5 or B is less than 4, and then NOT. NOT will basically invert it. will say if the condition is not true. That's it for this tutorial. It's really rushed, but it's a little bit harder to explain on TI Basic.